Hello, and welcome to the In the Word podcast. This is the podcast that will help you to understand God's Word, build a stronger relationship with God, and develop habits that will help you love God and others better. And now, here's your host, Trevor Pope. Hey, what's going on, family? Welcome back to the podcast. I pray all of you guys are doing well. I just want to say thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys uh, always tuning in and always commenting and letting me know how you feel about the podcast or the topics at hand, Um, sharing your testimonies. All of those things are truly a blessing. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, something I touched on on our Eat Up Mondays. And and a lot of times I'll do that, you know, uh, because sometimes with the Eat Up Mondays, I'm not able to talk you know, at length, like I would like to about certain topics. So sometimes here on the podcast, you know, I'll touch on those things. And I was just talking about how this last few days, this past week or so, how I just reached out to some, some really uh, close brothers of mine, man, you know, people that I truly appreciate having in my corner, you know, because it's important that we have good people in our corner. And I was just talking about how I reached out to them and just, you know, let them know how much I appreciated them. You know, I couldn't reach out to every single body because, you know, I do have a few, you know, friends that, you know, I can say they're there for me, you know, if I need them, if I need to talk to them or whatever have you. But I tried to reach out to a good amount of them. Um, and it was just a, a great opportunity to do so, you know, and, and also to hear some of their feedback, you know, on how they felt about me being in their lives, you know, and things of that nature. So I was sharing the scripture, Proverbs 18 and 24, and it says, a man that hath friends must shew himself or show himself friendly. And I was just talking about how, you know, if you're struggling with with meeting people or having friends, you know, we we have to do that, that, that checklist, that self, you know, checklist to make sure that, you know, we're showing ourselves friendly, right? Like we're, you know, we're not growling at people when they come around or we're, we're not always, you know, having our defenses up, even though sometimes we have to do that, right? Like we can't just trust anybody, especially in this day and age, but it's just really important you know, to have good people around and have good people in our corner and have good people in our lives. The scripture goes on to say, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And I was talking Monday and explaining that, listen, I have no, you know, biological brothers and sisters, but thank God I have people that God has placed in my life from a child up until now. And that's from playing in the playground, spending the night playing video games up to the streets. You know, when I was running the streets, people I met there and up until when I got saved and in the church, you know, I've been able to meet people on all of those levels. Some that I'm still in contact with from each of those levels that I can say that I truly, uh, you know, consider them brothers and, and, and true friends, you know, um, no bad history, no bad blood, you know, um, obviously you're going to have disagreements with your loved ones, but as far as like truly being there for me and I, for them, um, it's truly been amazing. And I was just encouraging everybody on this eat up Mondays this past Monday. And I'm encouraging you guys now, you know, if you have people like that in your lives, take the time out to do that. Right. You know, call them up and say, listen, I appreciate you. You know, everything that you, you know, been to me in my life. I I appreciate that. I love you. And I just want to let you know that because, you know, we never know where people are. You know, sometimes as human beings, you know, we get a little low. You know, sometimes we feel like our efforts are, are in vain. Sometimes we feel like we're not doing enough, but you just never know who life, you know, you're affecting, you know, the different lives that you're affecting just by being you, just by being a loving person, just by being, you know, willing to pray for somebody or, you know, reach out to somebody and try to help them in any way that they need help. You never know how far that may go because sometimes, you know, like I said, we get low and we could just feel like, oh man, I could be doing more. And sometimes we can be doing more, right? But sometimes we can be a lot harder on ourselves than we should be. You know, sometimes we don't realize how much we're affecting, you know, people um, in a way that we can't see. And that's the beautiful thing about life, man, is that, 
you know, when God reveals certain things to you and people say certain things to you and you realize how much you've affected their lives or, or how much you mean to them, you know, it, it's, it's just such a blessing. And, you know, I encourage you guys, you know, reach out to them, man, let them know that they're appreciated, you know, because you just never know where they are, you know, and, and also you just want to let them know, listen, I thank God for you. You know, we thank God for those people, you know, who can be honest with us, right? We, there's so many different reasons why we need good people in our corners, right? Um, when I think about people being honest with us, right? Like I, I'm not big on having yes men around, you know, I don't, I don't want to call you up. If you're a close friend of mine, I don't want to call you up and talk to you about something. And you just agree with me just because we're friends, right? Like if I'm in the wrong, or if I'm not seeing the big picture, I want you to be able to be honest with me and say, listen, Trev, I'm not really feeling that. I think you're looking at this thing the wrong way. I think you took it the wrong way. Like that's the type of, you know, um, brothers that I have in my life and that I'm thankful for because sometimes you know, when we have yes men or yes women in our lives, it's like <laughs> they're not really benefiting us at all. So it's really important, you know, when we have those people who can be honest with us, you know, when we have those people that we can share our insecurities with and our concerns with. Right. You know, because once again, like I said a, a, a little earlier, you know, we, we don't always fill up the par. We don't always fill 100 percent every single day. Sometimes we can be down about something. Sometimes you know, we could just be feeling insecure about, you know, uh, maybe a decision that we made or, or a decision that we may have to make or we're getting ready to make. Right. We're concerned about it. And to be able to reach out to somebody that can encourage you in that or give you some wisdom, some guidance on that, pray with you on that. Right. That's such a blessing, man. And that's something that we don't want to take for granted. It's nothing like having people in your corner that can pray for you. Right. There's, there's nothing like that, man, to, to be able to reach out to somebody and say, listen, I need prayer. You know, I, I need you to touch and agree with me on this. And it, and it could be something, you know, as small as just a decision. And I don't even want to say small. It could be something dealing with making a decision, you know, in your life, whether that's career, family, ministry, whatever have you. Or it could be, you know, something that you're struggling with, right, that you need for them to pray what you on. And it's good to have those individuals that you can reach out to that can pray with you on those things that you know is not going to make it all around the city, the church and all around the world. Like those are things that we, you know, we cannot and we should not take for granted. And then we have those close friends that we share special moments with, right? You know, when, 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 when we have these accomplishments in our lives or our children have accomplishments like me personally, I'm not, you know, I used to a long time ago, years ago, I used to post up a lot of stuff on social media, you know, concerning maybe my family or something that I was doing. I mean, I went way back in, in the Twitter days and this was years ago. I don't even know how many years ago, but this is when I was caught up kind of on the social media thing. As far as what I mean by that, as far as just posting everything, like I was sitting there reading tweets, like when I used to work for a bakery, I used to drive overnight. Sometime I used to drive 300 miles in a night, you know, and, and sometimes I would have shorter routes, but I was reading through the tweets and I'm, I'm tweeting all, you know, I need to take a rest or all I'm here at this store. It was like, I was just tweeting every moment of everything that was going on in my life. And I stopped that years ago. Like one day something hit me and I was like, it, it was like bondage. It was like, you know, what's the point of me having to constantly, you know, uh, share with somebody what I'm doing or share my accomplishments or my kids accomplishments or where, you know, where my wife and I and the family are traveling, like all of those types of things. I was like, man, listen, it was almost like a form of bondage and not to say that anything is wrong with it. If that's something that you like to do, then that's fine. But for me, I would rather share those moments, you know, uh, privately with the people that I'm close to, with the people that I love, you know, um, and even then, even with some of them, I don't always share every single thing. Right. But for the most part, I would, re I would rather share those special moments with them because I know that the reaction is genuine. I know that, you know, the love, you know, and, and the 
congratulations is genuine. I don't, I don't want to be posting something online with people that I don't really know, you know, a few that I know and a bunch that I don't know to hear criticism or to, to, you know, get fake love or whatever have you. No, I, I, you know, I just don't, I don't need none of that. And I don't really feel like it's important to me. So I'd rather share special moments with the ones that I love, those that are close to me. And for me, you know, that's a blessing to me because, you know, these are the individuals that I trust, that I can draw, you know, encouragement from that I I know genuinely are happy for me because when they share their special moments with me, I'm generally uh, happy for them. You know, I'm, it's no, uh, how you say it, you know, some people, uh, what's the word that they like to use, you know, that hidden jealousy or things like that. It's like, no, I'm thankful for this foundation and these people that God has placed around me. And a lot of these, these relationships are years in the making. I'm not talking about somebody or or brothers uh, or sisters that I just met yesterday, right? Most of the people that I'm close to, if not all of them, it's been relationships built over time through conversations, through prayer, through trials, through tribulations, through fellowship. So it's super important to have those people that we can share special moments with, you know, and I have people, you know, in my wife and I's uh, life, uh, other couples that we hang out and have a good time with. I have brothers that I can hang out and have a good time with. Like, it's so important, guys, to just have the right people in your corner, especially with the thing, with the way things are now today in this world, you know, um, unfortunately, you know, the Bible talks about the love of many waxing cold, even in, in the body of Christ. Right. But we see in the world, you know, how men are, 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 you know, quick to kill one another. We, we got people killing over Subway sandwiches, McDonald fries. Uh, I just saw a guy where they said that he killed a bunch of people in his neighborhood because, he thought his family was being mind controlled. Like we have all of these crazy things going on. So in a time like this, you want to have a tight circle, right? And we're not talking about, you know, isolating yourself from the world or not being able to reach out to anybody or witness to anybody or talk to anybody on your job. We're not talking about being weird, but having that tight circle, you know, when it comes to hanging out and fellowshipping, it's like we're living in a time that we just can't trust everybody and go with everybody everywhere, right? And lastly, you know, one of the things I think about that I think is so important is, and I think I, and I think I, I talked a little bit about this, but, you know, not so much just the ins- insecurities, you know, but also our faults, right? James 5 and 16 says, confess your faults one to another and pray one for another. We talked about that, that she may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So you want to have those people that you're accountable to, right? That's why it's 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 a, a, another reason why you want to have good people in your corner. You want to have people that you are accountable to, and that is super important, especially you know if if you're saved, especially. If you're in ministry, you want to have somebody that can hold your feet to the fire. Somebody that if they see you doing something that they feel is 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 not only out of your character, but out of God's will and out of his word, they should be able to say to you, listen, you need to stop that and understand that's not judging because we always get judging and condemning and all of that wrong. Judging is them seeing you doing that and they say, oh, you're going to hell. You know, you don't have no chance to repent. That's that's judgment. They're saying, listen, you're all set. But if they see you and they address it, that's not judging. That's them showing their concern for you. Like, listen, you know what the scriptures say. You know what the words say. You need to be careful with that. You need to repent. You need to come out of that before that situation gets worse. Whatever that situation may be, we want to be able to have people in our lives that hold us accountable in that way. If they see us doing something or if we go to them and we confess our faults to them, we want to have some individuals that can pray for us, you know, or we can pray for them that we may be healed. Why? Because the scripture says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And that's another thing too, because look, you can have, you could not be saved and have good people in your life, uh, good people you can lean on and things of that nature. But it is so much more a blessing if you have some righteous people 
in your life that can pray for you because it says their prayers, it availeth much, right? Their prayers is going to get through to God and it's really going to be effective, right? Not to say that we, we can't be you know, unsaved and have somebody that encourage us or counsel us and help us get through something. But it's different when you have a righteous person in your life that's praying for you because now you got God, you know, uh, moving on your behalf and working in that situation differently than somebody that don't have any love for God or don't have anything for God. And not to say that God isn't merciful because God is merciful. He shines on the just as well as the unjust. So not saying that he can't never at all work in an unsaved person situation. We're not saying that at all. But what the scripture says and it is clear about is that when you have someone righteous in your life and praying for you, those prayers will avail much. So I just wanted to encourage you guys. Look, I didn't even want to keep you guys long on this week's podcast, but I wanted to encourage you guys. Listen, reach out to those loved ones, those brothers, sisters, whether that's biological, not biological, close friends, let them know how much you appreciate them and love them. Because listen, we don't want to take for granted having good people in our corner because there's many people out here that they don't have people that they can reach out to and 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 confess their faults to or share their insecurities or concerns with or you know share special moments with or hang out with so let's not take any of that for granted i just wanted to encourage you guys to do that and to let you know the importance of these individuals that are in our lives and once again we appreciate all of them we love all of them and i love you guys as well and until the next time we hop on the podcast together Shalom.